This is Kampong Sungai Pinang, Malaysia, about 100 km from my homeland of Singapore. This was also the first village I've ever been to. What began as a journey to discover a story for a school assignment was about to impact me more than I could imagine. Uncle Lim, as everyone here calls him, is the village chief. I'm really excited as he has agreed to take me around. Jadi sebagai seorang ketua kampung, uh, yang uh, kewajipan kami kenal uh, berusaha uh, dalam ini untuk kewajipan saya usaha. Uncle Lim is very dedicated to his role and yet so humble about his status. He reflects the Singapore's government, doing his best to keep his villagers happy and solving any issues they have, just as our government does to us. Oh, Mr. Tai Huat lah? Oi! Lai lah! Hai, ni tau ke Tai Huat. Ha. Be hip say, be hip huan mung lah. Huan mung lah, huan mung lah, chun zang lah, zeh mung chun zang, zui hao zeh chun zang. Ha, zui lao si zeh. Ji si nian liao. Ha, ok? As we walked past various houses, Uncle Lim introduced me to a few villagers and what they do for a living. The villagers here work hard, but in comparison, their efforts bring in little profit. The villagers, despite the fact that they have to work in the hot sun and getting little profits, are very much contented with their lives. If I were to be put in that situation, I know I'll be complaining about the heat and the meager pay. To operate the... the the prawns, the process for the processing of the prawns to become the to become the dry prawn. The jobs that they have are so different from what Singaporeans do. They do a lot of physical work. The villagers have a choice of leaving their village to work in the city with better paying jobs. Yet most of them stay and continue their livelihood in the village. We are going up to the pond. Yes. Oh, I see you. One of the saddest stories Uncle Lim shared with me was of a village fisherman who went out to sea and never came back. It really touched me because he cared so much for someone who was not even related to him. When my neighbour or friends have experienced loss, sad to say, I have always been so absorbed in my own busy life that sometimes I fail to show compassion and as a friend, I feel that this is something I should change and can learn from Uncle Lim. Itu jarang yang dihadapi lah, yang, yang menyedihkan eh. Kecuali menyedihkan ialah macam apabila seorang mangsa yang menghadapi apa mm, uh, kematian macam dulu lah. Saya sebagai ketua kampung, kena nak tengok lihatlah anak-anak uh, buah saya yang mana mereka yang dapatkan kelulusan yang tinggi mereka akan dapatkan kerja yang lebih tinggi, status yang kerja lebih tinggi kan? bukan saja nak menghadapi sebagai nelayan itu kalau mereka yang pengetahuannya kurang mereka terimalah cari makan gitu as I bid my farewell to Uncle Lim and the villagers of Sungai Pinang, I think I brought home with me a little bit of that couple.